Welcome aboard the luxurious cruise ship where every single journey is a blend of breathtaking vistas and culinary delights. Today we uncover the essential role of food and beverage storekeeper sa cruise ship, ensuring that every meal served at sea meets the high standard of quality and freshness. Hi, I'm JM, a dedicated storekeeper who begins my day with the arrival of fresh provision from the port around the world. From the crisp vegetable to the finest cut of meat. I meticulously inspect each delivery to ensure it meets the ship's standards. It's crucial to start the day by checking the quality and quantity of our supplies. Freshness is the key to delight our guests. With a precision, I update the ship inventory system, keeping the track of everything from pantry staple to specialty ingredients used in the ship various dining venues. Throughout the day, I work closely with the chef and restaurant manager, anticipating their needs and ensuring a steady supply of ingredients to support the ship's diverse culinary offerings. Communication is essential by understanding what each restaurant requires. I can plan and I can manage our inventory effectively. Beyond the galley, I cultivate relationship with the suppliers, ensuring the reliable flow of fresh ingredients from farms and fisheries around the world. Building strong relationships with our suppliers ensure that we can consistently deliver the quality of our guests expect. As the day progress, I monitor storage condition, ensuring that perishable items are stored at optimal temperatures to maintain their freshness and quality. As evening approaches, I conclude my day with thorough inventory checks and prepare for the next day deliveries. Ensure a smooth continuation of culinary journey on board. I just wanted to add a little bit uh, this job description as a food and beverage storekeeper. So first, so inventory management. So we maintain accurate records of all food and beverage supplies on board, including ordering, receiving, storing, and issuing items. So, if you have a experience as a storekeeper, land-based or sea-based, this is the main important. So, you have a tally inventory management. So, every item is tally when you conduct inventory. So second is storage and organization. So maintain cleanliness and organization of storage areas. Item must be on family by family. So we have easy to make inventory. So this is connected with the inventory management. So you need to be family by family items. So if you make an inventory, it's easy to you to count. So, the next is documentation and reporting. So, maintain detailed records of inventory movements. You should document all fast moving items, include slow moving items, and report to your supervisor. So, this is the critical point when you make documentation and reporting the items. So, you should report the fast moving items and especially the slow moving items you need to collaborate with the executive chef with the kitchen staff and with the food and beverage director for this so it will give you a, a what you should do for this so to prevent expiry item or waste item so Fourth is quality assurance. Checking quality and safety of incoming supplies. Monitor expiry dates and proper storage condition. Okay, this one is every loading. So especially the cheese item and the dairy products. You should check or monitor every expiry for this because this is critical, especially the yogurt. Yogurt will expire only, I think, four days or five days 
and the uh, cheese check the item the expiry and also the the physical item you check if there's some molds so you can report it to your supervisor or manager the next is team collaboration as i've said recently in documentation and reporting you should collaborate with the executive chef with the food and beverage director with the kitchen staff with the dining room manager to fulfill supply needs and address any issue related to inventory or stock availability so next is stock control so this is gonna be the critical point and a little bit pressure for you when you are a food and beverage storekeeper in the cruise ship because I give you example sometimes your cruise will be a seven days so after loading you have a lot of stock but in seven days it will be replenished it will be finished very fast so you should know you should have knowledge about what you need to control the item so what item you need to control sorry so you should control it for the seven days to prevent customer complaint so for example there's a request there's a customer request with a special menu with a special item if you don't have enough stock for this around seven days the passenger will complain and maybe it will give you a negative star ratings online so that's it don't forget to remember my dedication and my profession as a storekeeper as a food and beverage storekeeper who work diligently behind the scene to make your voyage extraordinary so thank you for joining with me as you explore a vital role of a food and beverage storekeeper on board until next time, peace out and don't forget to subscribe.